Welcome back. Well, as I suspected, empty. The whole bloody box empty. Wasn't just me though. We've got two little dogs. You can probably see. Can you see your Barry in the back there? Yeah, Barry. Barry. He ate half them. And his bomber. But yeah, so the two had the two boys in the shed with me today. Or in the bar, in the dicky bar. Offshore Bandit. Baylands. So anyway, this is a 5.5 ABV Offshore Bandit. If I can read it, it's a really, it's a little bit, it's a little bit harsh on the eyes. It's yellow background, white writing. Not ideal. Not ideal for us old fellas. It says, at Baylands, we're digging our hazy beers of late, and we like to experiment. Looking for inspiration, we headed to the beach and watched some local kite surfers doing their thing. And we came up with this little homage for our local surfers. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? A little bit of local stuff. Kite surfers. I actually think kite surfing is banned in Northland. I, I, I read something the other day that kite surfing was banned by the Wangarei District Council, which I thought was bizarre and draconian. Anyway, this beer uses a new trial hop called 4337 alongside some other tasty New Zealand hops including Mochueka and Rewaka. Now we all know, we all know that Mochueka and Rewaka hops are arguably some of the best hops in the world. Loads of grapefruit, pine and tropical fruits, aromas does say fruits aromas English tropical fruits aromas over a light hazy malt base at only 5.5% and full of flavor it's the perfect beer for after you've been sheeting it up in the power zone mm. winds up surfs up let's catch some air dude all right so a little bit uh, a little bit of a sort of a blurb there from them. Obviously, they um, they've got some kite surfers down in down in Pet, Petuan, Petoni, Petuan. I guess so. There's a lot of wind in Wellington. Every time I've been there, it's bloody windy as a bastard. But there you go. Right, so let's have a go at this one. It does look like a good one. Five and a half hazy. It's pretty good. This is more, uh, so this has got a more of a, whereas the last one was like a honey sort of colour, this is more of a, it's got a bit more brown in it, so a bit more of the malt, I would say, in this one. Although, I don't know what I'm talking about, so. Take it. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, or a sip of beer. Right, so here we go, we have a sniff. Classic New Zealand hops. Classic New Zealand hops. I ripped out some hops that I had hanging in the garden down there the other day on the weekend. Got in there, cleaned up the garden, ripped them out. Didn't use the hops this year, just let them go wild. And um, yeah, I don't actually know what type of hops they are. I think they're Green Bullet, but they're a Kiwi, they're definitely Kiwi hops because I got them from New Zealand. I got them from down at the uh, New Zealand Hop Federation or something, bought them from somewhere. Um, and when you're pulling those off, the, the, that smell, that, that um, hoppy, hoppy smell, is similar to what's in here. So I might be lucky, I might be one of the few people that has a rewalk a hop in my backyard. That's, it's a good smell. Anyway, I'm waffling now, aren't I? So, Offshore Bandit by Baylands, a 5.5, 440ml can, and I did check, I checked today, all these Bayland cans 
are under $6.99, so under $7 a can, which is, by my reckoning, pretty bloody good for a craft beer, and especially that you can get it online, and they'll deliver. So, what a pack of good bastards. But anyway, let's try this. We haven't tried it yet. Let's try this. Smells good. It's, it's got more initial bitter bite than the, um, the Bantam Brawler. More initial bite than that. Um, but that doesn't, doesn't hang around. You know you're drinking a beer, so it's not one of those juicy, um, fruity, bloody IPAs which are bloody good, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love those. This is more of a, it's got a bit of a bite to it. It's a, you can tell it's a beer. It tastes really nice and refreshing. And uh, yeah, oh, it's, oh, I'm probably gonna put it in a second order for these guys. And then I can just drink it without doing a review. So, you know, I can come home from work and have one of these. Although, I do like putting my putting my life on the line for you guys and doing these reviews because you know somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to get out there, taste these beers, and tell people what they like. So you don't a waste of money or b buy crap beer. So Baylands, what's it called again? Offshore Bandit. This is a good one. You should give it a crack. All right, uh, that's me for the day. Like, subscribe, and um, yeah, catch you next time for another episode of Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. Wash your hands, stay safe. See you next time.